All right, let's get to some interesting uh, stuff about Sun Tzu now. All right, so Sun Tzu uh, was born somewhere between 771 to 256, estimated to be at 512 BC. Um, his name was not actually Sun Tzu. Not his name. His name? Sun Wu Why was his it? actual name. In Wu? In Wu? Oh, wow. In Wu? Man, yeah. flashbacks. <laughs> what is, that's that burger, thought cheeseburger. Ch- thought he would have chance of meatballs. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Love that yeah. movie. God, that movie was Sorry. good. Made Sun Apple Wu. the bad guy. Period. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is that? Yeah. 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 I love that. All right. So, Chester, the, copper pot, right? Yep. Yeah, yeah. Is it Chester, copper no. pot? No, Chester, no, 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 Chester, no, 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 it was Chester, wasn't it? There was a Chester no. in there, wasn't it? Flint Lockwood. Yeah, Flint but Lockwood. Chester was the bad guy. We're was talking it? about the Chester. apple guy. Oh, yeah, yeah, wasn't it? Chester. No, wasn't that the monkey? Was the monkey Chester? No. No, no that was a girl. Oh, yes. Yeah, whoops. <laughs> my bad. She's not a monkey. She's an ape. Chester. Oh, oh it might be. I did the movie no-no. <laughs> she's, the, she's an ape. Oh, I did a movie no-no. It was Chester. Oh, man. Is it Chester? Anyways, you going to look it up. All right, so the reason it says Sun Tzu on there is highly debated, but uh, Sun Wu was given an honorific, which is a title or word used in respect of revered people. Chester V. Yes. Well, he's, well, he's like, I don't know. what His dad was like, I don't understand vests. Is it winter on your torso and summer on your I arms? <laughs> <laughs> Still don't understand this at don't all. <laughs> I actually wore one in my life. I've, I've worn them. I've worn them. I was in them when I was a I've kid. Never worn yeah, them. Them. I never wore them. We were kids. Look like an idiot, but you know. That's I wear vests like suit, suit ones. Vests. Oh, yeah. you can like look three piece suit vests. I, I wear three piece suits to work. Do you really in do, your yeah. basement? Fuck well, you. Well, I. <laughs> Good point. When I went to work, yes. <laughs> I was about to say, I, 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 hold on a second. I mean, I was like, hey, babe, I'm getting ready for work. Just throw my, throw my suit on. <laughs> I, actually, <laughs> you have a nice suit on top. You're wearing PJ pajamas on the bottom because you're on I mean, camera. I've done that for an interview, but listen. Right. <laughs> <laughs> what I have now is I just wear t-shirts or whatever, robe or whatever, and then I have like an Under Armour collared shirt behind me. So if I have a meeting come up that I know that I'm going to have to get out, I just throw that shirt on real quick with the collar and then I'm presentable wow. for the meeting and nice. the brought up and yeah. put it behind me. Yeah. It nice. smells like onions from it sitting is, there because it's sweaty in meetings and they're showing my face. So it probably smells like a wet onion hoagie from, you know, yeah. wherever. But It's definitely yeah. not great. Uh, yeah. <laughs> as long as I don't yeah. raise my arms. Yeah. I wear your Spidey Man underwear yeah. just sitting on your chair like <laughs> Spidey Man. I actually wear sacks. Have you ever tried them? No. Sacks? They have these linings to keep your balls off your legs. I've seen oh them. My God. They're they, fucking they're awesome. The, I have three of them. Oh, I've I been trying to get more. Are they they're good? The or oh, my God. They're the best. They're like 30% off right now they're or something. Don't I don't have that brand. You don't have sacks? No, I got... Cloud balls or something oh, okay. like that. Never I don't seen know. Those. Um, it's like silk on your nuts, and it keeps it up off your legs and in place. Uh, mine don't do that. Mine uh, just have like mine just have like separators. Oh, mine's to keep the junk in the middle. That's nice because it is nice. Well, I'm outside in heat, like in the summer and stuff, and with it, with you know, rubbing you chafe a lot. So, yeah. oh yeah, yeah they've got help. special underwear for chafing. Actually, yeah. do they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a real. That's that's a real issue. But anyways, no. um, <laughs> some days I'll be I'll be like like spread eagle walk trying to walk to my car because I'm shaped that bad. The one time I'm sweating so bad. One time I went hiking, I had that problem. That was yeah. that Swimming. was painful. Yep. Anyways, all right, let's get back to Sun Wu. Technically, in Wu, in Wu. So, um, <laughs> what's crazy is. Like we said earlier, they don't even know for sure if Sun Tzu wrote the book. Mm. They don't even know. Or if he was just the, the gatherer, right? You yeah, or just the gatherer, or if it was a collection of all the generals at the time, because they do have some work from the generals in Sun Tzu's time. Mm. Um, matter of fact, he is recorded in one battle of Boju. I'm probably not pronouncing that correctly. Sounds like it comes with my sandwich. Boju. Boju. <laughs> Would you like some boju for your dipper? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? French dip? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I know what you mean. <laughs> Sounds like. Um, but he was a commander in the uh, Wu army, and they were victorious, and they also credit him for his strategic hmm. knowledge. So he has proof behind his name. He actually has real <clears throat> war. Victories. 
that's shown. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. Right. Here's a fun Are one. Are you going to take now. advice from uh, a fighter that's never won a fight in his whole life? No. Right. Here's a fun one. When the, 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 the king of Wu went to hire him, he goes, he goes, uh, he goes, show me that you're actually able to strategize well. He gives, he gives uh, uh, Sun Tzu 180 of his concubines, his harem of concubines. And he says, lead them. Right? He takes the two that the king likes the most, and he says, you two are in charge, putting you in charge. He said, all right, now I want you to go do this. And they just laughed at him. Okay. I want you to go do that then. And they laughed at him. So with the king mad at him, he took them and killed both of them. Both of his favorite concubines murdered him. Then he took two new ones, put them in charge. And they listened. Wow. And he got the job. (laughs) Even though he killed his king's two favorite girls, he got the job. Pretty interesting story. <laughs> Holy yeah. shit. Like, I just killed his favorite ones. Who are you? Right. Nothing. There's the fucking nuts on him to do that. He knew they were his favorite. Wow. The nuts on that, man. But yeah, I'm, you can, you can, you can help me with, yeah, lead the army. Go ahead, buddy. You're up. Talk all you. Out strategy, huh? Wow. Dang. But, uh, just an interesting story about Sun Tzu. Holy shit. Talk about, uh, taking a chance. Well, I'm sure he, <laughs> he strategized knew, it, right? He knew, he knew <laughs> his, well, I guess the, the emperor wouldn't have been his enemy, but he knew his opponent. He had to beat the emperor in that sense where he, he needed to job. prove. So yeah. he needed to prove. So he knew, he knew that the emperor probably, probably didn't care about anything other than results. And that got results. What's interesting also is there's somebody called <laughs> Sun B. Sun B. No. And it's, Is that where they came out with Sunny D? <laughs> no. Does <laughs> Sunny ever watch Into the Badlands? Huh. So there was another book called The Art of War. Mm-hmm. There's two of them. Um, and the one was talked about in historical textbooks, but they could never find mm-hmm. the other Art of War book. Sun Tzu's stayed. They were able to keep mm-hmm. it. But this other Art of War book from a guy named Sun... Sun... B. Sun Boob? Sun B? Sun Boob. Sun B. From Sun I think Boob. it's Sun B. Oh, man. Yo, I, Boob. How did I not write that? Joe B. Oh, Yo, Boob needs this a is why I Boob. imagine if Joe Biden wrote a book on yeah. war. <laughs> Period. End of sentence. Period. Yep. And wrote a book. We'll talk, about, we'll talk, we'll talk about spiders on his legs. Yeah. And, uh, and how he thinks this little girl's 17. Little girl you must rubber. be 17. God. Anyways, um, it wasn't until 1972 that they actually pulled up this other book called The Art of War, which is either believed to be um, Sun Tzu's descendant that wrote it, or that somehow this might actually have been the original one. But they don't think that. They think they're leaning more towards this was a descendant of Sun Tzu that wrote it. And the main difference between the two was uh, the level of unmercy. Because, like, there is some mercy in here and some, like, mutual respect among. Like I said, you got to read the book. There's more in it than what we talked about. There is mutual respect among fighting. Yeah. There are some things you don't do, some lines you don't cross. Well, in his, he was like, no. No, lay siege to whole towns, burn them all. You know, so he was a little bit more aggressive in his, which also plays into the thought of, hey, maybe this kept getting handed down. Yeah. And as commanders got it, they wrote in their their expertise, their thoughts. You know what I mean? That kind of lends into that and makes sense. Yeah. yeah. So um I think I think that's pretty much oh, here's an interesting fact about it. You want to hear this one? Sure. Um, this book is suggested reading for all United States military personnel. Uh, it is an instruction manual at West Point. It is an instruction material mm. oh. in West Point. And it is recommended reading for the Royal Military Academy in Sandhurst, England. Oh. So, still That's in big. very much play. And there's a chapter in there that talks about lying. So, 
Yeah, our military members don't know shit. Because <laughs> <laughs> they don't know fucking anything. <laughs> yeah. But, I mean, that's pretty much uh, the art of war summed up as best as we could. Yeah. All right. Um, great podcast, guys. Mm-hmm. Please like, comment, subscribe, follow. Uh, it helps us out so much. Helps us be able to make more content for you guys. So if you lasted this long with us, please yes. give us give us a thumbs up. Feel free to send us gerbil food for Brian. <laughs> Art of War. I'm already strategizing how to fucking beat this guy right well, now. Well, you are losing, sir. Way to put on the weak front. Great job. <laughs> Listen, I'm small. I, I'm big, but I'm trying to appear small. So that way it puts him into a false sense of security to attack me. And then one day I'm just going to strike and then he's gonna beat the shit out of me yeah. <laughs> <laughs> alright sure bud <laughs> alright okay, anyways um, thank you guys thank you very much thanks yeah, a lot tune in with us next time bye bye, bye.